tonight, a well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. How do you see it playing out? This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She could be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Van Zandt gets hit by that kick to the body. Nice punch there. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Nice body kick. Oh, combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and pissed. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Paige Van Zandt. Punch over the top. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Can't take many of those. You better check. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice one-two there. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Oh, that's a good strike there by Banzi. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Nice kick. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Van Zandt. There she goes, using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab up top, she'll just start pounding that jab right to your midsection, with, which then will just empty the gas tank. Van Zandt gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. All right. All right, round two is now underway. Interesting approach by both women in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process there. Exactly. You knew it was going to be a tough, very competitive close fight. I believe that was shown in round number one. That was Nice one, two there. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut? Following the three strikes, allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Beautiful body can land right under the elbow. to go. So unofficially 64 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zandt. And connecting at a 44% clip tonight, DC, against Paige Van Zandt. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find that one now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire 